This is Cameron Chai from azonano.com bringing another episode of Azo TV and today we're speaking to Simon Nunn from Thermo Scientific and he's going to tell us about their new Nano Drop Light. Hi, thanks Cameron. Yes, the uh, Nano Drop Light is the uh, latest instrument we have in our Nano Drop series of uh, UV Vis spectrometers. Um, what we're known for is the, uh, the Nano Drop 2000 with its micro volume sampling capability, um, a very uh, popular instrument for the quantification of uh, DNA and uh, proteins. Um, at the show this year, what we're doing is we're launching the, the latest member of the family, the new smaller um, Nano Drop Light. This is very much a personalized uh, version of the, uh, of the nanodrop instrument um, designed for primarily the quantification of nucleic acids. Mm -hmm. um, it comes with an optional um, printer docking station, um, which I'll place it on the, the station there. Um, as we put it on the docking station, it, it powers up. Um, what the, uh, the, the system is really known for um, is the micro volume sampling capability um, which is here essentially we have a, a pedestal here um, what you would do here is, is pipette a microliter of, of sample onto the pedestal here um, we simply close the, uh, the sampling arm there select the analysis you want to run so I'll just pop DNA there select double stranded DNA um, and all you would do at that point is, is, is blank the instrument with a, with a sample, take the measurement, um, and then read off the, uh, um, the actual sample of, of DNA. Once you've done the quantification um, with the system, uh, the analysis can be printed out on a label um, here, which is uh, compatible with cryogenic temperatures. So if you want to store your sample after analysis, you can, you can do so um, with, the, with the label intact. Um, so um, that's the latest uh, member of the, uh, the Nanodrop family, the, uh, the new Nanodrop Light. And it's suitable for accept what types of samples was that? Um, so typically this would be used for the uh, quantification of nucleic acids. Um, so, uh, so DNA, RNA, um, it can also be used for the quantification of purified proteins. So very much um, you know, part of the, uh, the workflow for analyzing uh, particularly nucleic acids. And it's a good instrument to have as, a, as an upstream pre-quantification before it gets sent further downstream for other types of analysis? Exactly. So, you know, if, if you're doing um, analysis of, uh, of, of DNA or, or proteins, um, one of the things you want to do is, is check the quality of, of your sample before it goes to downstream measurements. Um, so the measurement uh, with this is, a, is only a few seconds. Um, so, it, incredibly straightforward. You know, the advantage of the nanodrop technology is that micro sampling um, capability. So, again, a, a microliter of sample is all you need. Um, furthermore, you don't need to dilute the sample. So, there's no errors of dilution, and the measurement is obviously uh, much quicker as a result of not having to do the, uh, the serial dilution. Now, what's a typical measurement time for a sample? Uh, it's a few seconds, around five seconds for the analysis. And in between samples, uh, cleaning and maintenance is like is, is almost a non-issue. Oh, very straightforward. Um, because of the, uh, the the form factor of the pedestal, um, you simply wipe it with a with a chem wipe um, here and here. Um, some some researchers uh, prefer to just swab it with a, a little bit of buffer solution, um, but we found that's not necessary because the sample carryover between samples is incredibly small. All right, Simon, thanks for taking a few minutes to tell us about the Nano Drop Light. And if anyone wants more information, they can find that on your website. Uh, they can indeed. Um, thermoscientific.com or nanodrop.com. All right, Simon, thanks for taking a few minutes to tell us about the new Nano Drop Light. Thank you very much, Cameron.